Hello everyone, this is Jeff with OBD Advisor. And what I have for you today is the Anova 5210 scan tool. And I'd just like to go through a few features of this scan tool with you. I have it connected to a 17 F250 that has no codes in the powertrain. But when this scan tool is first plugged in, this is the first screen that comes up. And it shows you a few things uh, pretty much instantly other than just codes. <clears throat> the green LED tells us we have no codes in any modules. All right, so we already know that there's no need in checking for trouble codes in the body control module or any of the other modules on the vehicle. We have a yellow LED here. When the yellow LED is lit up, that tells us that we have a powertrain control module code. Not necessarily a check engine light, but there is a code in that module. When the red LED is on, this tells us that we have codes in multiple modules so that we know we've got to go deeper with our uh, diagnosis. Now, the, another thing, a nice feature from this initial screen, if I can get it to kind of zoom in here, is your IM monitor status at the top. If all of these are green and they're not flashing, that means our monitors are ready. All right, if you have three that are green and not flashing and the other ones are flashing and they're either clear or yellow, that means they're still in progress. They are not ready. So in a state like North Carolina where I'm from, this is part of our inspection. All right, so I know by simply plugging this tool in and doing nothing more, I know if I've got trouble codes and I also know if my emission test is ready by simply looking at the green uh, circles at the top and the LED. Now, a few other features I want to show you today. If we go to the menu, and I apologize for the glare, uh, we've got several things we can check in the menu. Um, system test, where we can actually go in. I'm trying to show you the, the buttons to push and the screen. We can do OBD monitoring test, EVAP test, uh, I have not tried EVAP. We'll go in here and see what it tells us. Okay, uh, EVAP is not supported for this vehicle. That would make sense. Um, we're going to go back. We'll do IM monitors. All right, so our IM monitors, we can check the exhaust. <clears throat> uh, we can check the different sensors on this car. Now, everything on here should check fine because we have no check engine light and uh, we already saw that everything is ready. If we had issues with catalytic converters or whatnot, that should have shown up on that first screen. Vehicle information, that's gonna give us your VIN number and calibration IDs. All right, there is a battery and alternator test. Uh, it gives us the voltage on the battery. It does a voltage drop by turning on the headlights. The alternator test, you run the engine for 20 seconds at 2,000 RPMs, and it gives you a voltage reading. All right, drive cycle procedures. It asks, is this your vehicle? Yes, it's a 2017 F-250. All right, and then it says complete monitors. Um, we'll go into this, and this gives us, again, it goes back to our IM monitors. Service reset. This would be for your oil changes. On this particular vehicle, the only thing that can be reset is for the oil change. Um, if you had a vehicle that you could reset for tire rotation or filters, that would be on this screen as well. We'll go back to menu. I do like tool library if you get kind of an odd code. All right, I have a Ford here, so I'm going to push this button till I see Ford. Scroll down. We'll go highlight Ford. And if we want to select 
a trouble code that we may not understand or we may not know the, what it is. We can do powertrain, chassis, body, um, communication, and then we can select our code. I'm going to put a 301 in here because I know that's misfire. All right, and then it tells us, um, basically gives us the information, random misfire, cylinder number one misfire, and whatnot. All right, then tool settings, you can go in and change the brightness of the screen. You can change the language. Um, and there are several several features that can be changed on the scan tool. But for a, a basic scan tool, that gives you a little bit of information. As I said, you can do freeze frame, you can check codes, you can share, uh, clear codes, and then you got the features for resetting um, oil change lights and things like that. So it is a pretty good tool for a small tool. Um, I've used it a few times and have really, really been impressed with it for what it is. It's, an, it's a good tool. And uh, that is all I have for you today. Uh, thank you very much.